In this video, revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial for print on demand and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that Selfless Plus have opened up for this week's free workshop. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out below. So, one of the reasons why print on demand is a really good business model for people that are just getting started because of the fact that how easy it is to get started and how fast you could actually go from zero to actually profit, even if you have no experience. Here's the thing because when people see like people's crazy e commerce results, like when they see how I went from like cubicle not liking the job that I uh, was working at to literally building an e-commerce business that went from five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million in that first year. They don't realize like the baby steps that I did to actually acquire the skill set to actually go from nothing to maybe my first hundred dollars a day. And there was many other e-commerce businesses that I did before this exact business model that allowed me to actually build the skill set to actually go ahead and succeed. One of them was which print on demand. Why is that? Because when I got started, guess what? I didn't have that time. I didn't have money, I didn't have experience, I had no idea exactly how to build a business. And the beauty about print on demand is you could literally have some other business, some other company, do the shipping, the handling, some of them will even do the customer service, and you could earn passive income for free just getting started and building a skill set that could potentially then go to your bigger payout. But remember, don't focus on the fact that, you know, oh, maybe I can make millions one day, oh, maybe I can make six figures one day. All I would care about if I was in your position is, man, if I could get $100 a day, $100 a day in passive income profit with print on demand, getting somebody else to literally print on their t-shirts off of their costs with no risk to me, I would then not only get more time, but also have more bandwidth to actually then think about my next move and my next like business model that I could, that I could actually go into. But like I said, if all this did was get you $100 a day, would it actually be worth it? So let's actually break it down. Like I said, before we talk about you know the big numbers, let's just you know put on the training wheels. And that is, how can you get your first win? How can you get your first sale online with print on demand? Well, what I would recommend is just starting off with Amazon because Amazon is like the number one e-commerce platform in the world right now, obviously. Anyone that needs toilet paper, they're gonna go ahead and press the button, two day delivery, sometimes even 24 hours, sometimes even 40 minutes, it will literally go into your hand and you get the toilet paper right there, right? But the coolest thing about this is you don't have to convince people to buy products from Amazon. Okay, people are already gonna buy products from Amazon. You do not have to spend a single dollar on marketing. Amazon has literally done decades of marketing for you so you don't have to. You don't even need to have your own inventory or your own product because with merch by Amazon.com, you could literally start with Print On Man for free on the number one e-commerce platform in the world with Amazon and sell products as Amazon products, reaching millions of customers worldwide with no upfront or investment or cost to you. All you literally gotta do is upload your artwork, which you can do even if you're not a graphic designer. Settle this price, we print what's sold, fast shipping with Prime. So how it works is like, say for example, there's a holiday, say it's like my girlfriend's birthday and she really loves our beagle, so I'm like, I'm gonna go get her a beagle gift, right? I'm gonna go ahead and type in beagle gifts for, oh look at this, beagle gifts for women. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And do you notice how all of these things that pop up, these are literally what people are searching for. So just remember that for later on. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and see this picture, I'm like, oh my God, I need this for my girlfriend. Click on it, buy. And if you were the one that designed this, what Merch by Amazon will do, will take that design, print it on their inventory, ship it directly to the customer, do the customer service, and they'll pay you for free, okay? So here's the craziest thing about this. One of these t-shirts could potentially make you $100 a month in passive income, which is insane because it's an opportunity that you can literally get started for free, right? And you gotta just do the math, like what is your income goal, right? If it's like $1,000 a month, $1,000 could do so much, it could help like, you know, pay the bills, help the car payment, help, you know, like, you know, help out the mortgage, or even just like have some extra savings to maybe go on that vacation that you've always wanted to, right? $1,000 a month could be very, 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 very life-changing, right? And all you would really need is like 10 designs of this that are winning and ranking on these keywords that pop up whenever, you know, literally people go ahead and search for things. Right, so what I did back in the day is I literally went and found, you know, winning like uh, winning designs on Pinterest. Say it was like in cat t-shirts, right? Cat t-shirt. I would screenshot a bunch of the ones that like caught my attention. And I would do multiple things. Number one, I would see, well, would this work in a different niche? Uh, would this work with dogs? Would this work with beagles? Would this work with Labradors? Would this work with like elephants, right? And I would literally take 
popular t-shirt designs from cats and see what other designs I could go ahead and do this for, right? I did this for, for example, nurses, doctors, dentists, lawyers, um, engineers, mathematicians, all the occupations, all the jobs, all the different animals, all the types of pets that people would have. And I'll just screenshot as much of these and then literally go to Upwork, type in graphic designer, hire somebody from like the Philippines for very, very cheap to literally do exactly what I need them to do, right? If I say, hey, I want you know this, but like with dogs. I want this with like elephants. I want this like here, hourly rate, $10 an hour low. I would literally talk to some of these people here, like pause $7 an hour and be like, hey, can you go ahead and just do this and change the design, model it, but don't copy it, but uh, make it of course different and better, right? And just like that, I would have like so many different designs that would just like upload on my print on demand platform, some of which would make me hundreds of dollars a month in passive income. Does that make sense? So I would recommend sticking to this until you start getting comfortable with the idea of print on demand. When you start having money coming in, because this, what it does is it will give you that belief check to understand that, oh wow, this online thing actually works and I'm actually making money. And the coolest thing about this is it's very low risk because it's free to start on Merch by Amazon.com and you're in good hands. Amazon is literally the number one e-commerce platform in the world, right? So what would be like the next level of print on demand? Well, the next level is of course, creating your own print on demand website on you know your own like platform, which would be Shopify, which is what I created my platform from when I started gaining some skills. This was all on Shopify, right? And what I would do is I would start looking at what are the popular print-on-demand businesses out there. One of them would be like Fanjoy. Fanjoy is really interesting because they do about like 25 to 50 million a year, right? So if you check this out, what I would do is I'd be like, okay, well, how are they making money? Because I want to see how they do the sales and the marketing. That's the most important thing. When you're not depending on Amazon, which does most of the sales and marketing, you're going to have to acquire some certain skills with this which is why I recommend literally starting off with the training wheels of like the Amazon Merch by Amazon program. And then once you start, you know, getting the hang for it, understanding designs, move to the next level, which would be, of course, creating it on your own Shopify store. This is literally where I went and created my like really successful e-commerce store because of the fact that they have all these templates that are essentially done for you and they're free um, to go ahead and just plug in into your Shopify account. And I already had like, for example, a website up and running in like 24 hours, even though I wasn't tech savvy, right? And all I would do is connect this to Printful because Printful has all of these designs that you could essentially sell for free. And the only time you actually have to buy these are after you've already made the sale. Meaning again, it's like very, very low risk, right? So you can see that they actually go ahead and connect with Shopify right here. And then pretty soon all you gotta do is like same thing. You make the designs like what I showed you through the Upwork method. And then you just see exactly how they did the marketing, okay? Well, what I see is they literally have creators and they have athletes, right? So if I go click on creators, how they essentially deal with this is they go ahead and partner with a creator that has like a huge audience, but doesn't necessarily know exactly how to monetize it, right? So what these guys do is they'll go to someone that has like a lot of views and a lot of subscribers, but don't know how to actually make money with it yet. And they'll go up to them and be like, hey, you probably don't wanna make a website. They're like, no. Oh, you probably don't wanna do all the backend stuff. No, well here, how about this? I'll do all of that. You just keep on making videos. I'll create a collection for you. And if people buy through the collection, we'll split the profits. And you can see how like profitable that is because with Printful, say you know their hoodie here is what, like $45? Say we sell the hoodie for $45 here, right? You say you sell 10. Your cost is only $17. If you sell 10, that's $278 profit. Okay, you don't have to do shipping, handling, customer service. You don't have to spend a single dollar on any one of these inventories, but only after you've made a sale, meaning you're always profitable. Does that make sense? And I mean, I can literally come into YouTube Type in the word cat tips, scroll down and see that there's literally people here that have like a bunch of views. Look at this, like a bunch of views, but very little subscribers. Someone like Mia, right? Mia Stone right here, 4,000 subscribers, 700,000 views. I can be like, hey, I can create a collection for you. You keep on making cat videos. Talk about the, your own specific collection in every single video. And when someone buys, we will literally split the profit. And that's literally just like how Fanjo went to 25 to 50 million a year. They just focus on those micro influencers then started kind of like moving up, you know, the, the, the food pyramid of, you know, like the higher level influencers. Does that make sense? But obviously if you want to fast your knees away to make money in line, we even literally have people in our community go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. Like Dina, a stay at home mom, then sign up for this week's workshop below. Check out this video and this podcast video. See you guys later. Woo!